Hi, it's Hayley from Parallel Coaching. I've just been posed a question and it took me a little moment just to kind of gather my answers to it and really work out how I can answer this awesome question the best I possibly can. And their question was, if I was to start out as a PT again from scratch, what would I do and how would I do it? So this is presuming the fact that I wouldn't have been working in the industry for over 10 years and not had hundreds of clients specialised in clinical conditions and taught PTs all over the world as well. So if I was to scratch all of that and go back to just starting out as a PT, what would I do? And I really wrapped my brains for a little while to try to kind of work it out, but really because there were so many options, like really exciting options that I could choose. So this is what I would do. I've summed it up to four main kind of points, which you guys I'm sure will benefit from as well. First is that I would pitch myself as an expert and using that I would publish material. I'd get straight out there writing blogs, writing content, filming videos, something whereby I can get my expertise out there. Second of all is I would want to build a list of emails. Now this means that I just want a portal, a place whereby I can contact all of my clients, all the people that are interested in what I do interested in my expertise just by sending them an email. So if I was working in club, I would go around and I would collect as many emails as I can and also from inductions and anything like that that I was doing or trial PT sessions, collect their emails, but I wouldn't just go, can I have your email address please? They need something else. So with all that awesome content that I've just created as being the expert in that area, I would then be able to package up some, some really clear advice that I can give them in return for giving their email. So first of all, I would publish material. Second of all, I would build my list out. So list, I mean email addresses, lists of people that are interested. Third of all, is that I would want to start being associated or finding people that were associated with my ideal client. And what I want to do is I want to find key influencers, people that will allow me to build up a base of people. So this stops me from being just online, for example. It allows me to reach out and be recommended by people and allows me to be seen as the expert, not through word of mouth, but through an organised system whereby I can work with other people. So who would I have on my team? That's number three. And then fourth is about getting a coach. I would want to, if starting out, I would really want somebody that has walked where I want to walk. Somebody that has been through the stuff that I want to go through. Someone that can show me which way to go. So I would also add in there a coach and I think that's a really, really crucial part of doing it. So they're my four and I've had lots of fun trying to come up with my main four actually. Like I've enjoyed kind of working out which ones would be the priority because you don't need my great big list of what I would do <laughs> if I was starting out as a PT. And I would say you could apply all of those to whether you're in a gym, whether you're out and about freelancing, whether you've got a specific expertise or not, you can start dialing it in. And they're the four things I would do if I was starting out as a PT now. So click like, click share, and if you can, leave a comment below. What would be the things that you'd do if you were starting out, or if you are starting out, what are you gonna do? But also leave me a couple of questions down there so I can film another couple of these videos with more advice. I love giving and answering all your questions. So please do pop a question in the comment box below and have a lovely day.